have an update on my Mimi box products. So I'm going to do all the products that I've received recently all in one video. And I'm going to start off with my favorite thing, which is the Dr. Young Uline Clearing Mist. This came in the Free From Oils and Troubles box. And this controls the sebum on your skin. So for us oily girls, that is the way to go. One of my subscribers actually found the direct link to the official Dr. Young website. So I will have that down below. I'm not affiliated with them or Mimi Box in any way. I was sent this product to review and to check out for you guys. But as always, I have a disclaimer down below so you guys can read that if you want to. So this is a clearing mist. It says that it's for back and chest, but you can also use this on your face to control the oil. And I absolutely love it. It has tea tree oil, but it doesn't smell like absolutely anything. And the mist is just very soft and really nice. And I feel like this is going to last me a long time. I've been using it almost every single day. And you can see that I've hardly even made a dent in this so far. Next up is this little cream called Cerakel, and I really like this. It's a red spot cream, so it's essentially for those redheads or those red acne pimples. So I went ahead and applied this on a pimple that I had here on the side of my face, and it really helped dry it out. But like most products like this, it helps dry it out, but at the same time, your skin gets dry from it, and then it's, it did peel and everything. So that is something to watch out for, but like most acne products, that is something that you have to live with. So either it dries it out and it becomes a little flaky, or you have to live with it and watch it grow and then try to pop it, and it just, you know what I mean. But uh, this is really nice. I really like it. It's going to last me forever because... All you need is a little bit, it's, it is a spot treatment and this jar is completely full. So I've actually been sharing this with my husband as well and he's been liking it as well for his uh, pimples and things like that. It just sounds like so nasty when I say that. But you know what I mean, like that's something that we, a lot of us deal with. So this is really nice and I think the packaging is really cute with the little frustrated girl on the front. Another thing that I got from the uh, oil and trouble was this BB cream. It's an okay BB cream. I didn't find that it did a miracle on me. I actually feel like it really whitens my skin and just kind of makes me look just weird because uh, it's just something that I'm not used to is looking so white and pale. Uh, and so it gives a white cast on my skin and then I try to apply foundation over it to even it out but I haven't found that it does anything spectacular it's just kind of nice but the price point on this is really expensive for the full size so it's not something that I would go out and buy just because I don't feel wowed by it it was nice to try it but it's not something that I'm gonna buy myself uh, this cleansing gel it's called the five um, I don't know if that's like in a little alpha sign five alpha uh, or five times cleansing gel this thing I used up completely. I hated it completely. <laughs> this is just a cleansing gel, but it does not lather at all on your face. So you feel like it's just drying like a gel that you put and it just it just doesn't lather or do anything. So I just didn't feel like it was really helpful or anything like that. So of course I won't even been trying this. And I feel like it really uh, dried out my oily skin. So that is not something that I like whatsoever. So maybe if you have extra, extra oily skin, then maybe you'd like this. But just for it not to lather, it just is so unhelpful as a cleanser. Last is the soap from the Oils and Troubles box. I'm not going to take it out of the shower because it just kind of grosses me out to take it out and ew. But that was the soap that was really large like this. It was a green soap and it was a tea tree oil soap. That soap is really good for, and I don't know if this happens to you girls, I get a few, like quite a few blackheads on the back of my legs after shaving and that kind of thing just because of the irritation from shaving and the hairs growing back. And that has helped completely almost diminish that completely so I absolutely love it for that that's the only area I use the soap and then I use it on my husband's back for him to control and his back has completely cleared up like no tomorrow I just can't even believe 
how that soap has helped. So I absolutely love the power of tea tree. So if you can't get your hands on that soap, definitely try to go to a health food store and try tea tree oil or try a tea tree oil soap which I'm pretty sure that most health food stores will have and they are kind of expensive health food stores are a little bit more expensive than um, buying like a dove soap or any kind of soap at the drugstore just to keep that in mind but I will be repurchasing either that soap or going out to my health store and buying tea tree oil and always have one available now because it has been so helpful on those problematic areas and that's the only area I use it on is uh, those areas where I'm more prone to, to acne on my body. I do not use it on the face. I tried using it on the face and it just strips away too much so I do not like it for the face. Uh, okay so the next box that I had was the Hair and Body 2 which I did a video recently on and first up is the Shocking Holajuki and this is supposed to be a slimming body cream and it's gonna be so funny to you guys I was like oh this isn't gonna work this is kind of you know one of those lotions this thing is incredible for when you're gonna go work out I thought that this wasn't gonna do anything so I was like this is just a lotion it's not gonna really do anything if you guys have ever heard of sweet sweat it used to, um, I used to buy that at GNC it's something that helps your body sweat and just brings warmth you can feel the heat of it and it really is good for when you're working out to help burn off and also help get rid of that extra water weight this thing is basically just like sweet sweat. I was so impressed by it. I thought this wasn't going to do jack and then I applied it one day just liberally in my house and all of a sudden I could feel the burn. Like I could just feel it heating up all over and I was like, uh oh, <laughs> like I shouldn't have done that. So now I apply it before going to the gym and this is freaking awesome. It just helps me sweat even more and it really works just like sweet sweat where it just helps you sweat more and burn off um, a little bit more. So I really like this. I'm really impressed by it. I feel like kind of silly because I was like, ah, this crap isn't going to work. But this is really nice thing to 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 find and use. If you can't get your hands on this, definitely go to GNC, try Sweet Sweat. They have a bar, like a kind of like a deodorant one, and then they also have a cream one where you can apply it onto your body. So if you're into working out, definitely check those out. Uh, next thing is this foot therapy. This came with two little transparent kind of bag things that you wrap around your feet. This thing is amazing. I am going to purchase these for my husband, for my mom, and for myself. This thing is amazing. I thought that this was not going to do anything, to tell you the truth. It said that it was going to peel your feet, blah, blah, blah. I put these on. I left them around an hour. It's supposed to be an hour and a half, so now I feel bad that I didn't leave it the whole hour and a half. But I left it for an hour, and I kept looking into the, the little thing, and I'm like, I don't really see much. So then I took them off after an hour, rinsed my feet, didn't see much of a difference. I actually took before and after pictures, and I have pictures of my feet actually just completely peeling. So if you guys want to see that, let me know, and I will post a picture on Instagram, like one of those... Uh, pictures with multiple pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about but this thing was amazing I mean two days later all of a sudden I started like feeling like my like my foot inside my sock was just kind of like a little bit slippery like something was happening when I took off my sock all of a sudden I looked at my foot and it was just like the whole thing was peeling like I was a snake or something and my bed I've had to go to bed with socks on because those first few days my bed was just covered in just dead skin that was just just flaking off my feet so this thing is incredible if I am someone who's on my feet a lot at work I do have calluses underneath my feet um, my heel isn't like the prettiest heel I really have to slather on some cream when I'm gonna wear sandals and things like that and so I would definitely recommend this if you have um, feet that are really you know that you really need a treatment and you really need to work on them this thing is amazing I can't even tell you how impressed I am I think they sell them on their site for nine dollars so I'm getting some for my whole family it's like a one month 
treatment kind of like instead of going to get a pedicure you can just do this at your house and the way this leaves your foot is incredible I mean my feet are so nice and soft and it is completely take away all that ashy dead skin cell and I'm going on and on about this but I love this I will definitely repurchase this I out of everything that I've gotten so far I think this and the oil control spray are like have changed my life like I'm so amazed by this so okay next thing up is something that is really nice is the hair salon argan argan treatment this is just kind of like a leave-in conditioner treatment and it's really nice it leaves your hair really nice and soft I really like it it's okay it's not something that I would just die for it leaves it nice and soft and leaves my hair nice but it's not something wowing to me not like my Kenra spray so I think this is nice and I think it was a nice addition to the box Next up is the body wash. I really didn't like the packaging because when you try to squeeze out of this, this plastic is so hard that when you're taking a shower, you're like literally exercising trying to squeeze out the body wash. So I didn't like the packaging. It smells really nice. It lathers really nice, but I really like moisturizing body washes. So it's not something that I would go out and run and repurchase because I really like more moisturizing body washes but it is a nice one if you like uh, something that smells nice. Next is the Spa Vita Berry Shampoo and Treatment. I've already used this twice. It leaves your hair nice and soft and with a berry smell to it. I really like this. I like the way the treatment works. I might repurchase this depending on how I like the Kenra one because I just purchased the Kenra shampoo and conditioner. So I'm hoping to love those because I absolutely love the Kenra line. But I really think that these are really nice and depending on the price point I, I haven't checked. I'll probably try to check and put them around here somewhere how much uh, the full bottles go for. So if they're way too expensive then I'd say kind of skip on them but if not they're they're pretty nice they're not something I would say completely spectacular they leave your hair nice and soft but it's you know that's something like depending on your hair type because maybe if you have drier hair then you might really notice a difference but I don't so I, to me they're just okay last is something that I really did like and it is the Elvita this thing is amazing. It's going to last me a very long time. It is a lavender oil. I've been leaving it right here on my vanity and putting it on my cuticles every day. And I really feel like it has improved my cuticles like no tomorrow. And I really love the smell of this. Like I said in my video, something that I don't like about cuticle oils is usually the smell. A lot of them have really funky smells. And I did try the garlic one one time and I hated the smell of it. So it's really nice that this has a lavender smell to it. And I like the fact that it soaks into the skin. Um, just a few minutes after you put it on, it just completely soaks and you don't have that chicken fried, I just ate something fried finger look on your fingertips. Okay guys, so that is it for the update on the Mimi Box products. Hopefully you guys like this and feel a little bit more comfortable of what comes in these boxes and how the products work and that kind of thing. For $23 each box, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. They also have a monthly codes. If you look up on uh, any kind of YouTuber, like they gave me their monthly code to put underneath my video so you can get $5 off so it's even cheaper. I feel like you get a good amount of full-size products and products that could really impress you and change uh, change something for you like this really changed my feed and I know you guys are gonna be like you're really talking about the foot thing again but this thing is incredible so uh, don't knock until you try it because that thing is amazing so you know um, definitely give them a shot I definitely want to buy the chocolate one they just put a chocolate one on their site and I'm dying to buy it um, so I might just buy that one um, if the hubby is okay with that we're just really working on our house right now so I haven't been hauling or spending that much so you know how it goes um, anyways thank you guys so much for watching for subscribing and until next time bye guys